Welcome to my lecture online. In this video, we're going to continue to show you how we derive the variation of parameters method. In the previous video, we got this far. We took our original equation. It's a non-homogeneous differential equation with non-constant coefficients. We realized that the homogeneous part of the solution will take on this form and the particular solution will take on this form. So since we find y1 and y2 in the homogeneous part of the solution, the only thing left is to find u1 and u2 to find the particular solution. And so what we've done is we've gone ahead and taken the first and second derivative of this, plugged into the original equation to come up with these two equations. Now the next step is to solve for u1 prime and u2 prime because these two equations are basically linear equations of the two variables u1 prime and u2 prime. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the first equation and solve this for u1 prime. So when we do that, we get the following. We get u1 prime is equal to, moving this to the right side of the equation, that would be minus u2 prime y2 and divide both sides by the coefficient, so divide by y1. So here we have the value for u1 prime in terms of u2 prime. So go ahead and circle that. And we're going to take this result and plug that back into the second equation to eliminate u1 prime and then come up with an equation that only has u2 prime in it. So when we do that, the second equation becomes as follows. So instead of writing u1 prime, we write this. Minus u2 prime y2 divided by y1 times y1 prime. And then here we have plus u2 prime times y2 prime, which is equal to g of t. So notice we now have an equation that only has u2 prime, u1 prime has been eliminated. So we're going to factor out a u2 prime. So that gives us u2 prime times. What we have left here is we have a minus y2 y1 prime divided by y1. And here we have plus y2 prime, and that equals g of t. You can see here that we can put all this over a common denominator, and if we do, we get the following. We get u2 prime times, this becomes minus y2 y1 plus y2 y1 all over y1, and that equals g of t. Now, I can go ahead and multiply g of t by y1 and divide the right side by the numerator here to isolate u2 prime. So let me do that. So here we have u2 prime is equal to, and so we get g of t times y1 or y1 times g of t, we'll write the y1 first, divided by, and I'm going to switch these two terms, putting the plus one first. So here we have y2, and I'm missing something here. y2 prime, I'm missing a prime there, can't do that. So we have a y2 prime times y1 minus y2 prime. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, I'm forgetting all my primes here. I gotta be careful because I'm, I'm running out of board space and it looks a little funny here. So let me see here what I'm missing. So here I have a y2 and a y1 prime, and I have my prime over here. And here I have a y2 prime and a y1. So I've got to be careful not to lose my primes because I don't have a lot of space here, and it looks a little funny. So we have y2 prime y1 minus y2 y1 prime. That's better. Now when we look at the denominator, that looks very familiar. That looks like the round skin of y1 and y2, because the round skin of y1 and y2 are defined as the determinant of, in the first row, y1 and y2, and the second row, y1 prime and y2 prime, which means that this is equal to the product of those two terms, y1, y2 prime, minus the product of those two terms, which is y2 y1 prime. And if you notice, that should be exactly the same as what we have in our denominator here, which means we can write u2 prime as follows. u2 prime can be written as y1 g of t divided by the Ronskian 
of y1 and y2. Remember, we're going to find y1 and y2 using the homogeneous solution right here of the equation. y1 again will be taken out of the homogeneous part and g of t is simply taken out of there. So taking all that together will give us u2 prime. Now once we have u2 prime, we can plug that back into this equation here to find u1 prime because now u2 prime is known. So we'll take this equation over here and now we can write that u1 prime is equal to the negative of u2 prime, which is this. So the negative of y1 g of t divided by the Ronskin of y1 and y2. Of course, I also have to multiply that times y2 over y1. You notice that this y1 will cancel out with this y1, which means that u1 prime is going to be equal to the negative of, and I'll write the y2 first, y2 times g of t divided by the Ronskin of y1 and y2. And there we now have an equation for u1 prime. So remember to find the particular solution which we said was going to be in this format. The y1 and y2 are going to be the solutions of the homogeneous part of the equation. We'll show you later how to find those. And then it all comes down to finding u1 and u2 once y1 and y2 are known. And here we've shown you that starting with these two linear equations, we can solve for u1 prime and u2 prime. We're just showing you how to do that to come up with two equations to find u2 prime and u1 prime. And then we're going to take those two equations to solve for u1 and u2, which then tells us what the particular solution looks like. So we're getting closer. One more video, I think, and we can show you how to come to the final solution of how to find the particular solution of a non-homogeneous differential equation with non-constant coefficients using the method of variation of parameters. That's how it's done.